A 70-year-old man dies from nocturnal urination. Doctors warn the elderly to pay attention to these three things when getting up at night. Mr. Liu, a 70-year-old man, had always had poor sleep quality. Especially at night, he would often wake up frequently. This time was no different. In the middle of the night, he felt the need to urinate. Mr. Liu immediately got up to go to the bathroom. However, after finishing his business, Mr. Liu suddenly felt very unwell. His heart started racing. He felt dizzy and lightheaded. He tried to steady himself, but ultimately collapsed on the ground. His family, awakened by the noise, quickly rushed him to the hospital. Despite the doctor's best efforts to save him, Mr. Liu unfortunately passed away due to a sudden illness. This tragedy left Mr. Liu's family deeply saddened. It also sparked concern and discussion among the community. Everyone was surprised and puzzled. Why would simply going to the bathroom result in such severe consequences? The doctor specifically pointed out regarding Mr. Liu's condition that there are indeed many potential health risks for the elderly when they get up at night. These must be taken seriously and prevented. So, what should elderly people pay attention to when getting up at night to avoid health hazards? Why do people wake up at night? When it comes to waking up at night, many people are not unfamiliar with it. Facing the problem of waking up at night, many people find it unbearable. Not only does it seriously affect sleep health, but it can also cause insomnia and difficulty falling asleep. But do you know what causes waking up at night? Emotional fluctuations. According to research, many people's problems with waking up at night may be related to emotions. In life, when there are significant emotional fluctuations before going to bed, such as being extremely excited, angry, or distressed, the possibility of waking up at night is higher. This is because emotional fluctuations can cause nervous tension in the brain, affecting sleep quality, thus making it easier to wake up at night. Dietary factors. Diet has always been a significant inducement for various health problems. If you consume a lot of food or liquids before bed, it can slow down gastrointestinal digestion, increasing the body's burden. For some people, it can also cause severe abdominal pain and bloating, making it easier to wake up frequently at night. Of course, eating overly spicy and greasy foods can further exacerbate the condition. Therefore, it is very important to pay attention to healthy eating before bed. Disease factors. Diseases can also cause waking up at night to varying degrees. Many patients with kidney abnormalities or diabetes may wake up frequently to urinate due to their condition. Especially diabetic patients, due to blood sugar fluctuations affecting the functioning of the glomeruli. Therefore, in addition to paying attention to waking up at night, it is also important to control blood sugar levels steadily. Prostate problems. For some male friends, as they age, prostate health becomes a significant issue. When the prostate is enlarged or has cystitis, it can cause difficulties in urination, such as incomplete urination and urgency. Therefore, identifying the specific cause of frequent waking up at night is the key to avoiding the problem. What to pay attention to when waking up at night? After understanding the specific causes of waking up at night, we also need to further understand the relevant precautions when waking up at night. Because many middle-aged and elderly friends, when getting up at night due to incorrect actions, can have a severe impact on the body, not only causing sudden fluctuations in blood pressure, but also posing a series of risks to vascular and heart health. So. You must be vigilant and take protective measures. Be cautious with movements. Doctors point out that middle-aged and elderly people need to be especially careful with their movements when getting up at night. Many elderly people, when they feel the urge to urinate, will urgently get up to go to the bathroom, moving quickly and violently. This can greatly stimulate the body, causing sudden fluctuations in blood pressure and blood sugar. Especially for the elderly with weaker hearts, violent movements can easily cause rapid blood flow to the brain, leading to fainting or stroke. At the same time, 
The room is relatively dark at night, making it easy to bump into things or slip and fall. Elderly people have weaker bones and may suffer from osteoporosis. A fall can harm joint health. Therefore, when getting up at night, you must move slowly and orderly to avoid the side effects caused by sudden and violent actions. Keep warm. For elderly friends in the north, the outdoor temperature is low in winter, and indoor temperatures are also affected. Elderly people have weaker immunity and resistance, with reduced tolerance to cold and the ability to regulate body temperature. When getting up at night and suddenly leaving the warm covers, it is easy to be affected by the cold temperature. Temperature differences can stimulate the skin, thus affecting blood flow. Therefore, besides paying attention to movements when getting up, it is also very important to wear clothes promptly to keep warm. Avoid drinking cold water. Many elderly people have the habit of drinking water after getting up at night, and to save time and effort, they will directly drink cold water. But this can greatly stimulate and burden the elderly's gastrointestinal tract. Elderly people have weaker digestive abilities. Suddenly drinking cold water at night can cause gastrointestinal spasms, leading to abdominal pain, diarrhea, and bloating. At the same time, drinking water at night can further damage kidney health, increasing the burden on the kidneys and further causing waking up at night. How to reduce the number of times you wake up at night. After understanding the hazards and precautions of waking up at night, how can we avoid waking up at night in our daily lives to better ensure sleep health? Avoid consuming too much water. The most important thing is to reasonably control water intake before bed. Many people, to avoid thirst, often consume a lot of water before bed to replenish and store water in their bodies. But in fact, consuming too much water increases the metabolic burden, slowing down gastrointestinal motility, causing bloating and nausea. While affecting sleep quality, it also harms health. Especially elderly friends who have the habit of drinking tea, their water intake is even higher. Therefore, it is important to correct drinking habits. Drink water in moderation to avoid edema and heavy moisture issues. Develop healthy sleep habits. Nowadays, many people, due to life pressures, have to stay up late to work or study, making it difficult to ensure enough sleep time. To reasonably avoid waking up at night, the key is to develop healthy sleep habits. It is recommended to go to bed at the right time each night, ensuring 7 to 8 hours of healthy sleep. It is best to go to bed between 10 and 11 p.m. This helps the body better enter a sleep state and also helps the body repair and recuperate. Avoid eating before bed. Many people have the habit of eating late-night snacks, often consuming a lot of food before bed and immediately going to sleep thinking it will help them sleep better. But this is not the case. When the gastrointestinal tract is full, it is not conducive to sleep health and reduces digestive and absorption abilities. In the long run, it is very detrimental to overall health and nutrient absorption. Therefore, avoid consuming a lot of food before bed, especially foods that are high in oil, spice, and salt. Eating heavily flavored foods can also cause frequent thirst, leading to excessive water intake, creating a vicious cycle, increasing the likelihood of waking up at night. Reduce stimulating activities before bed. Besides diet and sleep time, pre-bedtime activities are also very important. Many people like to play on their phones or watch videos before bed, but these activities can make nerves tense and excited, leading to insomnia. And in an insomniac state, it is easier to feel the urge to urinate, causing frequent waking up at night. Therefore, you should keep your mind and body relaxed before bed. You can choose to massage or listen to light music to calm your emotions, helping the body quickly enter a sleep state. Appropriate medication control. For patients with diabetes, hypertension, or kidney disease, if the issue of waking up at night cannot be effectively avoided through normal habits, it is necessary to take medication under the guidance of a doctor for condition control. But be careful. During medication, follow the doctor's advice. 
Avoid changing the dosage arbitrarily to prevent adverse effects on the body. In daily life, sleep health is closely related to overall health. Especially for middle-aged and elderly people, adequate sleep can eliminate physical fatigue, improve physical fitness, accelerate metabolism, better maintain body stability, delay aging, and strengthen the body. However, the problem of waking up at night is often overlooked by elderly friends. They think it is a common issue among the elderly. But in fact, the problem can be effectively avoided through proper methods. Therefore, we should increase health awareness, use scientific methods, reduce the frequency of waking up at night, maintain physical health and stability, and enjoy a peaceful sleep. All right, we will share up to here today. Thank you for watching. I hope today's content has touched you. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click subscribe so we can accompany you every day. Let's grow together, be happy together, and grow old together slowly. See you next time.